It was just a regular early summer day. There was a forecast of bad weather that afternoon. Guys, we have what looks to be a tornado in progress. My husband and I, we were outside um, in the garage. I was kind of peeping through the blinds and I saw it starting to hail. I went in City Hall and I said, go home, protect your car. The entire town are all in the dark right now. Power's off. I'm looking out the door and I can see some rotation. I got up, looked out, and the hail started swirling. We were climbing out of rubble. There was a fire nearby. It was too late for us to go into the house, so we stayed in the garage in the corner. I uh, drove to Main Street and looked down Main Street, and, and I mean, it's shocking. In those first few hours, it doesn't matter who you are. We're all one. Right away, everybody started like asking everybody how everybody was doing. Uh, my husband went out there and was pulling um, people from the debris and um, my neighbor taking them to the hospital. The equipment and facilities was completely destroyed. Our facilities were gone. The people were not. We were working next to folks from Oklahoma, from Louisiana. We had people there from Missouri. Uh, we worked all day on Saturday and Sunday with a gentleman uh, from New Mexico, and he left his equipment there on Sunday afternoon to be used however necessary and went back home. You saw that all over town. The, the support that we received was just indescribable. We were converged upon by every state agency, every surrounding community within hours. And they arrive here and they say, what, what's going on? I said, well, Periton's cleaning up. Well, why are so many people working? I said, that's Periton. And our neighbors, they said, we've never seen anything like this. It's like a marathon. When you get out of that gate and you have thousands of people, we find ourselves in the middle of the marathon now. Everybody's at their own pace and it's, it's a struggle. It's something different every day. There are so many things on their minds. Every day, the need comes through the door. It could be a resident, it could be a utility provider, um, could be a business that's looking for help. And so I think what we are able to do is to help think about future while they think about immediate. There was no hesitation about the commitment that Parky would make uh, for a community that was struggling. And I found that just incredibly powerful that we had the ability to be just reactive to an immediate need. began to evaluate where could we make the most impact. It happens to be that the 100 block of Main Street, 100% of the buildings were destroyed nearly 100%. We began to discuss what could we do for this, for our whole block. Plans were, were shown and we'd say, well, look, this is what we could have. Would you be on board? And by and large, every property owner said, look, we, we would be interested in something like this. People like the old part of town. If we can restore our town to look similar to that, it will be maybe a little bit more heartwarming for people. The spirit of Periton will never die. We have faith that we can take care of one another and that uh, our higher power will take care of us. And he has, he's always been with us in our, our deepest need. Ten years from now, I would hope that 
there is a renewed sense of community. I hope they're having their annual parade in August on Main Street. I hope that the kids are chasing candy between floats. Perryton is community. Perryton proud, Perryton strong. Absolutely, there's no better place to live. We need to give people hope. A lot of these buildings that were torn down are, are 100 years old or more. Um, folks, I'm sure, were excited and proud of those things going up back 100 years ago. I'm hoping that we have that same excitement now.